Hey, what's up everybody? I hope you're all hanging in there. This is turning out to be some summer, huh? I'll say, the heat was bad enough, but then we've been having a whole lot of rain, making it real hard for us to get our stuff done. How are you holding up, Ralph? I'm hanging in there. I think we all are. And that's good to hear. Despite our struggles, it's important that we stay focused on our tasks, though, and at the same time. I really hope that things get better for all of us. Even you, Ralph. I certainly don't want people to think that I'm some heartless fiend. Now, why would anyone think that about you, Eric? Because of the way that you and I constantly butt heads. It's not that we butt heads, Eric. I just get annoyed by you. I think we all do. I think that's pretty obvious, Ralph. And how exactly do you think we should improve this working relationship of ours, Eric? Do you have any ideas on how we should improve it, Ralph? Oh, I've got a few ideas on how we can improve this. In fact, there's this one particular idea that I really like. So, are we here to talk about the Batman Arkham Knight game? Yes, we are, Natasha. All the Jaguars and Batman fans are now watching part 4 of our mega crossover review of Batman Arkham Knight. I have done some research and I have news about the Batman Arkham Knight game. So let's do this and jump right into this. When this game was developed by Rocksteady Studios and published by Warner Brothers, it was supposed to be playable on PC as well as Xbox One and PlayStation 4. But because of the issues and problems, Rocksteady and WB Games pulled the PC version of the game offline to address its moderate issues. The game is still not available for purchase, but if you brought the game before it was pulled offline, it has been receiving updates throughout the process. The link where WB Games addressed this issue is in the description section of this video. In this link, WB Games made this statement, and I quote, Again, we would like to apologize to you, the fans, and let you know that we are taking full responsibility for releasing a product that did not meet our quality standards which is why we suspended sales of the game as soon as we understood the issues. We can also assure you that because of this latest launch, we are modifying the internal review process for all of our games. For those who are waiting for the updated version of the, P of the game on PC, please know that we are working on this every day. For the players who are continuing to play Batman Arkham Knight on PC, fixes are continually being made to the game as, as we await the final updated version. Our continued focus on getting the right PC fixes in place for the main game has had an impact on the development of all DLC content for the PC version of the game. This means that the Batman Arkham Knight Batgirl A Matter of Family DLC will not be available on July 14th for those who are currently playing the PC version of the game. We apologize for the delay and only want to make sure that any content that we offer is up to the standards that PC players expect." Unquote. So, probably sometime in the fall, the PC version of Batman Arkham Knight should be fixed and ready to go. By the fall? But some people may not want to wait that long. Ralph, 
since the PC version of Batman Arkham Knight had so many issues with crashes and freezes. Is the game refundable? Yes. Thanks to the research that I did, I discovered that this game is actually refundable because of its problems. WB suspended the sales of the PC version of Batman Arkham Knight and they're offering refunds to all those that purchased the game. But as far as I know, it's only the PC version that's being refundable, not Xbox One or PlayStation 4 versions, probably because there's been no apparent complaints about those. That is very rare, I think. Usually when you buy a game, you can't get your money back if you open the package. But this time, they're making an exception. Well, the reason why they're making an exception this time is because of the massive outcry of this game's issues. An Angry Joe's video. His head really hit the roof. OMG. Of course, of course it did. $60 is a lot of money. To me, at least. <laughs> so, now, maybe Angry Joe will calm down. Well, there are some conditions to the refunding of Batman. Arkham Knight. Conditions? There are conditions to the refunding of this game. How are they gonna put conditions on people who should rightfully get their money back on a game that didn't work properly? Haven't they been through enough, hell? I totally agree with you, Sean. The PC version of this game didn't work right off the bat. No pun intended. So the customers should get their money back. No questions asked. On GameRant.com, the link is in the description section of this video, by the way. This is being done through Steam's new refund program, which allows anyone to receive a refund for a game as long as they played for less than two hours and have owned the game for 14 days or less. Presumably, the refunds being offered by WB Transcends the two hours of playtime requirement and anyone who purchased a download code of Arkham Knight that is unsatisfied with their experience are encouraged to return it to the store where they purchased it. Well, I think that's good. Yes, there was a problem with the game on PC version. And now WB and Rocket Teddy are rectifying the situation. Oh yeah. You want to get up and dance for them, Eric? Would you like some pom-poms? There's no need for sarcastic comments, Ralph. Unlike certain other companies out there, WB and Rocket Teddy are taking steps to fix the problem. Hey, they are trying to fix the problem, Ralph. You gotta give them props for that. But what about the people that are going to wait for the updated version? That's coming in the fall. By then, the hype of Batman, Arkham Knight will probably have died down. I don't know about that, Lisa. I saw DSP and the Rad Brad play this game on YouTube. Trust me, Batman Arkham Knight is huge and broad. I don't think the hype of this will die down anytime soon especially with the way our mega crossover review is going. And then there are those who don't have an Xbox One or PlayStation 4. If the PC purchasers choose to get a refund, then they'll miss out on Batman Arkham Knight. But if they want to play the game, then they'll have to get either an Xbox One or PlayStation 4. Xbox Ones and PlayStation 4 systems are expensive, aren't they? Yep, afraid so. They're each $400 and after tax, they each come out to be $430. Damn. That's rent money for some people. And two car payments for others. So, as of right now, if you don't have an Xbox One or PlayStation 4, then you can't play Batman Arkham Knight. That's right, but at least you can get your money back, 
So I suggest that if anyone out there has purchased the PC version of Batman Arkham Knight, but you haven't played about more than two hours of it, stop playing it now, take it back to the game shop, and get your money back. I don't know. It may already be too late, Ralph. It's, it doesn't hurt to try, Lisa. I think it's real unfortunate to those that already bought the PC version, and now they have to get it refunded. Because to me, Batman Arkham Knight looks like a real good game. It's an epic game, Natasha. Very epic. Whether you actually play it or watching it get played, it tells a story and gives a good show. I guess the story is a joy to watch, even though I'm not happy about the ending. I like the graphics and layout of the game. It doesn't get any better than this. The graphics and appearance of all the Batman Arkham games are epic. And Batman's costume didn't hurt, either. It's not even a costume. It's more like high-tech armor. The bat suit that he wore for Arkham City is the same that he wore for Asylum. But then, they made a much different one for Batman in Arkham Origins, a much greater one. But Batman changes suits all the time. For the movies, TV shows, and the video games, they're all different. Different and real good, too. Do you think that Batman's outfit in Arkham Knight is the best? Hands down, Ralph. This one in Arkham Knight has got to be the most high-tech armory. With this armor, Batman could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Iron Man. He could probably beat Iron Man. Oh, I don't know about that. What do you think, Sarah? It's okay. I think it would be a good battle between Batman and Iron Man. It would probably be a tie, though. Why do you think that it would be a tie? Because Batman's armor is very epic, and it's just as good as Tony Stark's Iron Man armor. No, I think Batman's armor is better. I like Iron Man, too. But I think Batman's Arkham Knight armor is better. I mean, you watched it on YouTube. Did you see the armor? Come on. You know that's epic. I think we all can agree that all of Batman's armors are epic. He always equip, equips them with the latest technologies and superior gadgets. I mean, the communicator monitor mounted on his wrist really impressed me. Batman can talk to his allies like Alfred and Nightwing on that. And I bet he can watch cable TV on it, too. You think he can get internet porn on that, Ralph? Oh, man. Sean? <laughs> yeah, Batman can obviously get porn on that. But I don't think he watches that kind of stuff. This is Batman we're talking about here. <laughs> Come on. I know. Batman is not a sex addict. You sure about that? I'm positive about that. Okay, let's not get our heads in the gutter, okay? Okay, I'm just playing around. Bruce Wayne is a classy guy. Can I ask a question? Why is it that if something has nothing to do with sex, it somehow finds its way back to sex? Welcome to my universe, Natasha. Your universe is dirty and sick, Ralph. I know. Alright, now let's talk about the progress of our mega crossover review. Yes, let's talk about the progress of this. Because, so far, the views aren't up there. <sighs> oh jeez. Again with the views, Eric. Jeez. View count is very important, Ralph. We have to get them. Well, yeah. We are kind of struggling with the views, and you already know why 
were struggling with views, and I think by now the Jaguars know the situation and they're bearing with us. Therefore, we don't have to be quote unquote broken records here. I think Ralph has a good point, Eric. We don't need Taki bringing up the views all the time. Everybody knows that viewership is an issue for us. We're all working hard to resolve this issue, and that's the thing to do. Exactly. Instead of sitting here and complaining about it, we're taking action to raise up the view count on all of the web series and YouTube channels of Ralph J. Images. And what exactly is being done? For starters, we have been promoting the web series and YouTube channels of Ralph J. Images on a few other websites. And soon, the animated versions CC Jones, Rocky Blue, and Naruto will be getting their own solo series on the Ralph Jaguar One channel. So, yes, now the cat is out of the bag. We're working on the web series for CC and Rocky and Naruto as well. But the thing is, it's taken a while for us to get it up and running. Mainly because of the personal issues that we're having. We are working very hard on getting those series going for Cissé, Rocky, and Naruto, and we will get it done. But, Brittany, we have to keep in mind that family is the most important thing, always. Of course, Natosha, I think that family is the most important thing. I really like working at Ralph J. Images. And I love putting together these videos for the Jaguars. But family has to come first, always. Right. Now, about our mega crossover review of Batman Arkham Knight. Now, I don't think that we need to dis discuss part one because there we were able to set things in motion, so to speak. But I do want to say that watching part one of this mega crossover review is very important simply because it starts the whole process and tells our Jaguars where to go next and what YouTube channel the next part will be. About part two, that is where I, along with CC, Rocky, and Naruto interviewed Harley Quinn. So, how do you all feel about that? I think that installment went very well. I really like the trailer and videos that you played. It really got me excited. I think that Batman Arkham Knight Father to Son trailer got everybody excited and fired up. Made me want to get up and fight. Yeah, that's the video that gets me fired up too. And want to start swinging. I know how you feel, Ralph. The Scarecrow is just a bully. And that's how he's acting. And you feel like... You know, y'all just want to punch him in the face. Yeah, Scarecrow needed to get that beat down, and Batman gave it to him, too. And that's why I wanted that video in there. And again, I thank the Creative Commons of YouTube for providing us with that footage, because it helped us give the Jaguars and fans of Batman an idea of what this game is about. And I think that all of the parts of our mega crossover review has done that. Ralph, in part two, you brought in Harley Quinn from the game. Then, part three was on the R Day Gaming channel. There, we showed a sample of the playthrough that's in the game. And once again, Creative Commons of YouTube came through for us. They're the ones that provided us with that footage. Ralph, I think that interview with Harley Quinn was a trip. I think you kind of put her on the spot with some tough questions. Now, I didn't think that the questions were that hard. I didn't really expect her to know what a PC is. I didn't expect her to know what a DLC is either. I mean, I was happy to explain it to her. But then again, 
Harley Quinn was a psychiatrist before she got with the Joker. So, what are you saying, Ralph? Counselors are supposed to be smart? Well, most of them are. You did ask some tough questions, Ralph. They were tough for Harley. Yeah, we asked her what she thought about the PC version of the game freezing and crashing. And she said that she didn't know. And when you and Rocky explained to Harley how that was bad for the costumers and the company, Harley said that they should just get an Xbox One or PlayStation 4 to play the game. And I thought that was a good answer for her. You know, Harley did the best she could with it. We all know that Harley Quinn is not a rocket scientist by any means, but she's certainly not an airhead, as she puts it. In Batman Arkham Knight, I think Harley Quinn's character was epic, and she contributed a lot to this game. I like Harley Quinn. She's real hot. But you don't like the Joker. That is what didn't set too well with Harley. Well, let me ask you, Sean. Do you like the Joker? No. All right, then. I may not like him, but I didn't jump up and down and dance when he died in Arkham City. That is what got Harley upset. I was just doing my job. Well, I thought the interview was well done. What do you think, Sarah? It's okay. Okay, the links to the previous parts of this mega crossover review, parts 1, 2, and 3 are in the description section of this video, and part 4 will be on the Ralph Jaguar 1 channel. There we will discuss and see the Batmobile in action. So before we wrap this meeting up. Does anyone have any questions about the Batman Arkham Knight video game or our mega review of it? We pretty much covered everything for now. All right, then. This meeting is over. Peace out till later.